Kia ora whanau and friends, welcome to my last week of review videos for the Kaho Iteo program. This e-commerce course has been amazing, it has taught me so many things, you know, especially about myself. I need to work on my time management, I need to just grab the bull by the horns and go with it and just go because it's nearly showtime. So after this two, these last two review videos, I have until the 16th of January to generate $200 in sales. So that is the last and final task for the Kaho Itel scholarship course program. So very exciting, very exhilarating, and I can't wait. But before that all happens, we've got to get these two last review videos out of the way. So, our belief changes session was with Dalveen Cockatoo Collins. So, Dalveen is an Aboriginal woman from Australia. Specifically, she whakapapas to the Kwandamuka country. Um, or the Kwandamuka people, I should say. And this is situated in Dunwich on Stradbroke Island. So she currently lives and works there to this day. She opened her first retail store there and she still runs it today, obviously. And, you know, since it's an island, people have to visit it or get on the island by jumping on a boat. So as soon as people get off the boat, they leave the port in about one or two minutes walk her store is right there, so it's pretty amazing for traffic-wise, um, you know, it's the first entry point to Stradbroke Island. And Dalveen's, she is an artist, so a ceramics and textile artist. So, you know, she, she tells the stories of her queer and her mama and her people, her culture through her art mediums. So she creates um, like homewares, what else? Clothing, you know, body adornments and artwork. She also does commissioned work. So she has, yeah, she designed the Commonwealth um, medal design. Yes, when it was over in Australia, as well as the uniforms. So, that's pretty amazing. She is amazing. Um, you know, because I I don't know where this belief comes from, but I've always had a belief and that artists don't, it's hard for them to make it in, in you know, in the art world. Um, you've got to be unique. You've got to have... And I'm like, some people sell lines and squares for thousands. And, you know, compared to a contemporary artist is like, their work is amazing. So, Dalveen definitely um, changed my perception of that. Like, you know, there's a lot of people um, today that are getting into the digital designing of art. And it's hard because everyone is... Well, what am I trying to say? It's hard because you've got to be unique. You've got to have... Yeah. I don't want to say stuff and be like, you know, what is she talking about? But, yeah. That's where I'm kind of going with this. Is She has made it, like... And her art is very unique in itself, of course. Um, But, you know, compared to other Aboriginal artists, hers is, like, on a platform where it's so accessible and minimized but not um not belittling her kaupapa so you know just through ceramics like mugs and like little kunos ceramic holders and you know it's pushing her art out and her stories so it's very beautiful she is inspiring because yeah, she just is. I'm a contemporary artist. I consider myself to be. 
um, or just like a doodler artist. I don't even know what to call myself. But yeah, I guess I have trouble with that is n not knowing where to situate myself. Um, not knowing how to define my mahi or my... Because I hand paint everything. So does that make me an artist? Or does... What does that make me? If you know, let me know. But yeah. One key takeaway I took from her is... She mentioned... If it ain't on social media, it's almost as it never existed. And that's the truth. Um, you know, I made my page about two months ago. And I've only released three posts three posts so it's like as if my my website doesn't even exist um and it pretty much doesn't uh, <laughs> but we're gonna get there for no baby steps we're gonna get there and i'm gonna learn and teach myself how to make my social media um platforms more i don't know like wow I want to go visit her page, see what she's up to. So that's what I need to work on. And our last key takeaway from Dalveen was to experiment. To experiment. Um, so I handcraft all the game layouts. So I go out and source recycled materials. And then I upcycle whatever I've sourced into the game layouts. So... That can take me a little bit of time, right? I've gotten advice and a lot of um, a lot of um, you know incentives to outsource help in terms of woodwork. However, I can't afford to one. I can't afford to financially. Second, I'm. Based on assumption, I don't think uh, big productions um, or factories or like you know mills are gonna want to upcycle recyclable materials when they got bigger projects and you know could make more money off of bigger orders and you know from other bigger companies. So. Because of that, because of those reasons, I feel strongly with this takeaway is to experiment myself. Uh, I would say out of 20 people that have, out of everyone who has told me to outsource help, there's only been one, one little voice, one foreign voice that that, who told me, no, do it all yourself. You know, do it all yourself. You can do it yourself. You are doing it now. So just invest a little bit more time and you will get there because you're only beginning um, and you don't want the stress of outsourcing products where you have to continually follow up and, you know, risk the potential of it not being what I wanted. So those are the key takeaways I had from Dalvin Cockatoo Collins, I know. And we are nearing the end of these review videos with just one more left. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you stay along for the last bit of this ride. And yeah, whanau. Kia pai tera, And I'll see you all later.